Morning guys, so yeah, join me here today and we're back at the Oaks on the open. So I've drawn peg five on furs. Never actually fished this peg to be honest. It's not usually one that's in all the time. As you can see it's in a corner, but some nice skimmers and decent hide in this lake. Let's see how we get on, I suppose I'm all ready now. Just gonna nip for a wee and let's get started. So match has not long started and I've just realised that I forgot to film the cupping in at the start and what lines I've plumbed up so I'll just give you a quick run through that now so while I carry on fishing so I've got two lines one straight in front a bit off to the left and then one to the right they're at 13 metres and to be honest it's all the same depth so if I do need to start another line or if I want to move slightly left or slightly right, it's it's plums up perfect out there, to be honest. It's lovely and flat. And then also on that short line, so I've got a short line as well, which is the same depth, which always makes it that little bit easier. And then I've got one just off edge of this bush, just to my left. So hopefully we might pick up some bigger roach and bits down there. So yeah, plan is I've put a bit of ground bait in, Fed some maggots in with ground baiters as well. And as I say, plan is just to lose feed over the top and just pull fish in. So it's a nice lake, this. I do like it. It's got quite a lot of skimmers in, some hide, nice roach. So they tend to be a bit bigger on here, the average stamp, than most other lakes, but we'll see how we get on. And then also on that short line, I fed. Some ground bait and maggots, so I've put a full pot of loose in there, it's still mild at the minute. So we'll catch some over that, I reckon a bit later on in match. And ground bait that I'm using, same as always, just dark F1 and Thatchers. And then I have got a few micro pellets mixed in, as I've said there's quite a few skimmers in here, so that'll hopefully just hold a few in peg if they're moving. And then, as you can see, I've started on this middle line. Loose feeding maggots, lay me rigging. And as you can see, I currently have my first fish of the day on. Just taking my time bringing it in. Feels like a nice eye to start with. A bit weird, the eye in here. There's not a bad stamp, but you never seem to get loads. You always pick the odd one up, mainly roach, a few skimmers, and odd, odd eyed, so it's a nice start. There we go in there. It's one of them. Obviously, I don't go through the rig on on these videos just because I don't really have time in the middle of a match. But I will put a video out in the future, coming soon, with what rigs I use and why on these matches. And also, for them of you that aren't too sure and for people who are starting out, I'll also show you how to make the silverfish rigs which I use and go into a bit more detail about what float I use and why I like to use them patterns. But yeah, I don't really get time. I get asked quite a bit in these live matches about rigs, but I'll put a separate video on about them. So I'll be able to go, go through. I do tend to use the same ones on three of the lakes, so the roughly the same depth, and then on Willows, which is a deeper lake. Exactly the same, but just a little bit of a heavy float. As you can see, just keep that bit of bait going in. So I'm feeding me my short line, my one down edge to this bush, and then just flicking a few maggots in. So there's a few fish out there. Bit of a weird bite that one, to be honest. Just dinked a little bit to the side, but you just got to lift up and they're on. It's coming in anywhere. I say it's coming in. It's not coming in very easy. Yeah, there we go. I reckon it was probably a foul up to that one. I'll just lay off the amount that I feed him for a little bit. Straight back out. There's obviously a few fish there. I hope these leaves don't become a pain. Not too bad at the minute. I've had them a lot worse, but it's one of them the 
I can hold the rig up over the top of him. Once I get past him, it's not too bad. I can lay the rig in. I don't really want them to move. Move much further out and cause a bit of a pain. few fish lined up there already like I say it's still mild conditions it's awesome fishing these matches when when it's still early season once them um, obviously frost come at lakes ice over still rammed with fish but it, it does slow down a little bit but when it's like this you can just keep catching fish decent stamp and put a decent weight together just all about getting in a nice little rhythm just keep putting fish in net so often that these matches are really tight up here so you, you could always catch the extra pound or two pound here and there. There you go, it's a lovely fish. Simple bait tray as well as you can see. Maggots, bit of ground bait and then early on do some micros just to mix in with my ground bait just because there's a few skimmers around. But literally that's that's all I'll bring. I'll just sit and feed maggots over a bit of ground bit. Dead simple. Well ever I'm still getting bites on this line, I'll just stay fishing it. As you can see, I am feeding the other lines as well, so if it slows down or I don't get a bite then. I literally just move to my next one and hopefully they'll be sat there as well because I'm feeding that one and not fishing it. But it's all about just keep laying that rig in. If you miss a bite, don't worry about it. Just lift your rig out, lay it back in. I've got a couple of shallow rigs set up so if they do come up in water and I'm missing a lot of bites, usually when the roach move in, I'll just bring it back, put a shallow rig on, go out, catch a few and then they usually drop back down or you just keep catching one or other. And run again. Good start is this. Keep going like this, I'll be quite happy. Like odd skimmer to come along, but I reckon I can catch them shorter later on in match, pick odd ones off. like a better roach does that fight quite hard these roach keep getting a scoop of leaves with them but decent stamp fish soon put a weight together when they're like that there we go I've had a good run of fish on both of them long lines now, so I'm literally going to refeed just a little like hand sized pinch of ground bait on each with some maggots. So I'm just going to put them in, them in now, just to re refocus the fish. Some come off at bottom a little bit, and it's one of them. I want want to try catch a couple of skimmers or some a bit later on, so I just want to keep a little bit of ground bait in swim. The first line, pop that in, make sure it's all down right all.
and then same again on this other line. So just a, just a handful of ground bait out there and a pinch of maggots just to reconcentrate the fish. And then I'm going to have a look on my short line. So that's in there now. Bring this back. Let's break off there where I need to. There you go, just put that up the top. And pull out the rig. Not really sure what to expect on this line, to be honest. I know I will catch a few fish on it, whether that I catch them early on. I'd say we're only second hour now, so I'd have thought there'd be a few fish there, but we'll just see. We've got to see what size fish they are, whether I can catch them quicker than what I can catch them out long, or it's all about weighing it up and trying to catch the biggest weight I can, shortest amount of time. You can see there's one on there straight away is always a good sign not when they're that size though if i can catch bigger fish out long i will but i'm not just gonna sack it off straight away i'll give it a few goes and see whether there's any bigger fish hanging around obviously that's first putting on it so i'd have thought there'd be a few i'd like to think there's a few if i have another couple of them then i'll just refeed it and leave it I'm guessing it it will produce bigger fish later on in the day. And that's another tiny fish, not the fish that we're wanting. We don't want to be catching them like that. Didn't know there were many in here that size to be honest. Now we all better stamp. And give it another go. I won't be giving it long if you like that though. And just ship out and lay it in. Still feeding me maggots on the other lines as well, so hopefully there'll be fish. Fish on them. Don't mind the speed I'm catching these, but they're, they're not the stamp that I want to catch. This one seems a little bit better. If I'd have come off of it, I'd have missed out on this fish. I don't mind them when they like that. Net as if good. Just didn't want them tiny fish. I'm going to give it a couple more goes though, because if there's the odd better fish down there, just longer I leave the lines out long to settle, the more likely they are to produce a better stamp fish. So we'll give give it a little bit longer. Plus we've just had a better one, so I know that there is some better ones short. Getting plenty of bites, which is always nice. Just drop the rig back in. I do like catching on this short line on this lake. fish still putting fish in net which is a good thing but it needs to be a bit bigger I think I'm doing all right looking round obviously as you can see most at lake and everybody's catching a few but I'd like to think that I'm slightly ahead but it's one of them you can't just get carried away catching small fish or I will have to keep rotating lines and looking for a few bigger ones as well. I'm hoping that I'll pick a few up here and there. That feels a, a nice fish again. They don't have to be massive, just a bit bigger than the swingers, the netters, they're alright. We don't mind netters. This one looks 
So, in true form, obviously, when I switched camera off on that short line, it did actually hook a tench. So, it's got a nice tench in the net as well. About, I don't know, a pound and a half fish. Not a massive one, but I do like a little tinker. So, they do count on these matches as well. So, everything apart from carp. So, carp don't count. Cruise and carp do, even though I don't know if there's any in any at lakes. There's supposedly odd little one but I've never seen one come out. And then goldfish don't count as well. There's a few F1s and goldfish. So they don't count, carp don't count, but tench do, which was a nice, nice little bonus. And you can see, I've just gone back out on these long lines. I'm actually shallow now. So I'm just fishing a rig that's fished fruit water, probably a foot and a half or so deep. We're getting a few missed bites, so I thought I might as well stick a, a shallow rig on and just see what size these roach are. Normally roach that you catch shallow, so if we do catch out else, it's a, a bonus. But if you can get some of them bigger roach that are in here that are like eight, ten ounces, don't take many of them and you've put a decent weight in your net. But I don't want the, the tiny ones. I don't mind catching a few of them while other lines are settling, but... We'll just see. Obviously, it's the way that I've fed it, they've come shallow. So I'll lay off, feed a little bit on the other line and try to keep some on bottom. If you tend to catch better stamp fish on bottom, but if these big roach are there, then I'll definitely plod away on these for a little bit. Still keep feeding that short line. I put some more ground bit in, so I put another nugget of ground bit in on that short line before I come off of it. Obviously I'd add a tench and quite a few other fish and then just keep plopping a few maggots in over the top. Same with this edge. I had uh, just some maggots down there, but it's a bit difficult to get in down there at the minute with the leaves, so I'm hoping they move out at some point and I'll have a look down there. But whatever I'm catching. I don't really mind if I don't get to look on them lines because of the leaves. I'd rather go where I can present a rig than try to force a rig in and not really be able to do much. So I'm guessing this one's an eyed with it splashing behind. Obviously they don't like going down, you just got to take your time. I did say that it'll be mainly roach with catch shallow, but this one doesn't seem to be a roach denied. Typical. There we go. Nice size though, so. So I'm going to give you a quick roundup of our four now as well, as we're into our five. I didn't film our four, I just got my head down and caught a few fish. So I had a few skimmers that turned up on that long line. So I thought I don't really want to not concentrate on these so obviously it's quite a bit of your weight that you put together with these skimmers and I just kept flicking the maggots over probably reduced the amount I was feeding and just because I wanted to keep them on the bottom and get quicker bites but yes I've had a good last hour and now I'm just trying down this edge so I've had a few fish down here a few nice roach as you can see leaves have all moved out at where I'm getting a, a few bites. I have had a couple of small fish down here as well, so I'm not going to leave it too long. But I think it's just that time of year where there's a lot of fish feeding, so it's important to pick out the bigger stamp fish, but they can be mixed in as well, so I thought I'd have a quick flick down this edge just while I've refed my long lines and that short line and just hopefully going to have a, a good run in the next... 45 minutes or so before I end up match. So just while they settle, I just thought, I can't really ignore this. If there's a few better fish down here, then obviously I'll stay catching them. If not, my other lines will hopefully just getting stronger. I feel like I've got a decent weight and doing all right. They've all caught around lake as well, so I'd like to think I'm just in front, but you never know when you're concentrating on your own match. Oh, it can be going on. It only takes a couple of them big skimmers and someone can overtake you without you even seeing them catch to be honest so just 
got to concentrate and try get the best out of the swim that you can. I'm just going to catch one more fish down here and then I'm going to go sit long and try catch a few better fish again. Oh, there we go. My last fish from down here. I'm going to turn cameras off after this, get my head down and I will catch up with you when I get home probably. But for now, we'll get this one in and we'll end it there. So I'm back home now, I've had a lovely day's fishing to be honest with you and I've just constantly just kept putting fish in there all day and I've ended up with just over 40 pound which lovely day's fishing of silverfish by anybody's standards and it's one of them, I've won my lakes, so happy with that no chance, well I say no chance on framing I didn't want match off holders with 55 pound there's been a 54 pound on there, 51 pounds so obviously this time of year it's just a mega lake to be on his holders but I'm happy to win lake on here and then just have a nice day's fishing. It's what it's all about. Nice bonus tension along the way. So for now, that's it. And until next one, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.